Okay, so this is the Exarm uh, winter shot shell. Um, this one protects the Exarm for any kind of like sub zero temperatures. It has active heating. Uh, it has actually two different zones of heating. I'm gonna talk a little bit uh, about that later on. Um, it's made out of thicker neoprene material than the other two covers. So this cover is a little bit heavier than the other two. It's a little bit more like a winter jacket if you compare the other two. That's more like a t-shirt for your arm. Uh, so you definitely only want to use this uh, when you're actually working in, in the zero degrees or, or colder. Uh, the purpose of the cover itself is to keep the arm, especially the spring course, in room temperature all the time. Uh, so you have the same performance uh, as you have in, indoors. Uh, and that's the reason why we include this uh, for free for all our Exxon users. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it works. You open it up with the zippers below. You have Velcro for the middle bracket. I have a zipper here. Uh, on this side you have two USB cables sticking out. You have access points on each side depending on uh, if you're regular and goofy. So you can able to go inside here, pull the cables out and route them down to the other side here. If you're, you're um, uh, goofy, so you don't have the, the cables sticking into your body and, and like damaging the cables. Um, the cables themselves is, are not as long and that's a purpose because uh, you're always gonna have your USB power bank in your pocket and you choose whatever length of extenders you want to, uh, into the cover. So we chose USB because USB power banks is, is accessible. Uh, you don't have to buy like any special battery that you're not allowed to fly with, etc. So um, you use this with two amps, uh, five volt outlets on your power bank. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to fit the arm inside. You open up the cover. For the cover, you see the heat pad zones. So I'm gonna explain a little bit about those. Put the arm in. You see, always when you put the spring core inside the cover, this is the first section of, of the heat pad. As you see, here it's called passive heating. This means you only need to activate this heating when you leave the, the arm outside, for example, with the USB connected, because it's gonna heat up the, the spring core, so it doesn't drop in temperatures. If you start working with it and you need more uh, temperature for it, you can activate the second heat pad group. That's why it's called active heating. That's like when you're active and actually working with the arm. As the spring core stretches out, it's gonna cover this whole range, so then you have heat the whole range. So passive heating, when you leave it for storage, uh, and active heating, you can activate it while working with it. So I'm gonna put in the arm. Easiest is to close down the zippers right above the middle bracket here, like so. I'm just gonna make sure you the zipper goes in all the way before you close it down so you don't damage the zipper. And then I stretch the zipper all over the cover. I put it into place. I take the second one like this uh, and access the zipper here. Like so. Go. And then you just fold the cover correctly, close it down. You have a stretchable side here that goes over the socket block like this. It doesn't matter if you have the back or front socket block, it always goes around this part on the, on the socket block itself. So close it down. Uh, make sure the cover is in, in correct position, like so. You close down the Velcro in the middle bracket so it's like a snug fit here. And this portion you're able to close down around the arm post like so. So 
And the cover is in place. We have the two heating sec sections like this. So I can plug in my USB power bank now. And it has three different temperature settings. So put, when I start it, I press and hold for like three seconds and it activates, it's gonna turn red. Red means full power. You want to have like full power it's, if it's down to like minus 20 Celsius and you can use white power, that's the medium heat when it goes down to uh, minus 10. And you can have blue, that's the weakest setting, the weakest temperature at uh, sub-zero uh, temperatures. To shut it down, just press and hold and it's gonna shut down after three seconds. So you put the USB power bank in your pocket, you use some USB extenders, you connect it to the arm, and usually it's enough just to heat this potion uh, because it's gonna heat the spring course all the time. With the winter cover, it takes longer time um, for the arm to reach uh, outside temperatures, so it's gonna protect the heat pretty well uh, all the time. Next, I'm gonna show you the tension with this cover on. So I use this flap around the arm post. As you see, uh, if the cover was closed completely, it's quite tricky to know where the hole is to access the arm post to hang up the arm. So I usually open it up like so. I connect it to the docking bracket and then I can close it down again if I want it to have it like nice and tidy. Um, the winter cover itself is almost like a, a soft bag so it's uh, quite good for, for protecting the arm. The other uh, covers are really good as well for protecting the arm from any scratches etc. Uh, it will also keep the arm cleaner in terms of like uh, sweat from your, from your arms etc. Not digging into the anodize. Um, this print here is a little bit more uh, grip friendly as the material is quite slippery, uh, especially without gloves. Uh, this print material makes it easier to like, handle the arm itself. So I suggest using this for, for uh, gripping when you're like lifting the arm. Um, I'll insert the cover as normal. Nothing weird there. Like so. Once the cover is on, I have access to these two uh, tension parts. So I put the arm on as normal. Like so. Take my tool. Now I'm able to open this up and access the spring core. So with this I'm able to tune the arm without having to take off the cover, etc. Once I'm down, I just close it down. It's easier to have it stretched down a little bit instead of like opening it up, uh, tension it and have it like bulgy like so because it's easy to stick. Once you boom it down, it's very easy to, to uh, get access to these um, two tension points on the arm. So this allow, allows me to do any tensioning right on the fly, have them open, like so, and once you're happy with the tuning, you just close down the, this uh, again. If you want to take off this extra uh, zip lines, you just undo the knot here, super easy. If you kind of think they are in the way, etc. Um, just take them off like so. Uh, we want them th to have them on there because it's easier if you work with gloves, for example, to access the zipper itself uh, using these. So probably you're gonna wanna use them. Uh, well, that's 